Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to RAC, where we talk all things audio production and sound. Today, we are diving into our series on music business and going over one of my most favorite industry fields, the Titan, the audio engineer. I'm Dariana Everett, a singer, songwriter, producer, and RAC grad. Let's get into it. The world of music production is a complex and multifaceted one, and nowhere is this more evident than in the field of audio engineering. Audio engineers are the professionals responsible for the technical aspects of music production, from recording and mixing to mastering and live sound reinforcement. In this video, we will delve into the various types and specialties of audio engineers, exploring the skills and knowledge required for each, as well as briefly going over how they make money, how they're educated, and how best to approach them. First and foremost, it is important to note that audio engineering is a highly technical field. To be an effective audio engineer, one must have a deep understanding of sound, acoustics, electronics, as well as signal processing. Additionally, audio engineers must be skilled in the use of a wide range of equipment, from microphones and preamps to mixing consoles, and digital audio workstations. In terms of education, many audio engineers attend specialized schools or programs to learn the technical skills necessary for the job. These programs can range from a few months to several years, depending on the level of education and specialization. However, many audio engineers also learn on the job, which is a really important part of it, starting out as interns or assistants to more experienced engineers. If you're interested in our program, do check out the Recording Arts Canada program link below. Let's go over the different types of audio engineers. One of the most common types of audio engineers is a mixing engineer. Mixing engineers are responsible for taking the individual tracks of a recording and blending them together into a cohesive and sonically pleasing whole. This involves adjusting levels, EQs, and effects, as well as panning and spatializing the various parts of a mix. A skilled mixing engineer can take a raw recording and turn it into a polished and professional sounding final product. Another important specialty in the field of audio engineering is mastering. Mastering engineers are responsible for taking a final mix and preparing it for distribution. This involves a variety of tasks, including balancing levels, adjusting EQs and dynamics, and applying final processing such as limiting and dithering. The goal of mastering is to ensure that the final product will sound great across a wide range of playback systems, from high-end studio monitors to earbuds and car speakers. In addition to studio-based engineers, there are also a number of professionals who specialize in live sound. Front of house engineers or FOH are responsible for mixing the sound for live performance and working with the unique challenges of each venue and performance. Monitor engineers, on the other hand, will work with the performers themselves, ensuring that they can hear themselves and each other on stage. There are also mixing engineers who specialize in capturing audio on set. They will use audio mixers, field recorders, and manage labs, time codes, and booms. And usually on a larger set will manage a team of junior engineers to make sure that all the equipment is running smoothly and all the sound is captured correctly. Acousticians are another important type of audio engineering professional. Acousticians specialize in the science of sound and how it interacts with physical spaces. They are responsible for designing and optimizing the acoustics of recording studios, concert halls, and other performance spaces. This can involve everything from selecting the materials of the walls and floors to designing the layout of the room itself. Finally, there's the emerging field of spatial mixing. Spatial mixing involves creating immersive and three-dimensional soundscapes using a variety of techniques including binaural recording, ambisonics, and object-based audio. Spatial mixing is becoming increasingly important as virtual and augmented reality technologies continue to advance, and it requires a unique set of skills and knowledge. Approaching audio engineers can be tricky. The best way to approach an audio engineer is to send them a polite email or message, introducing yourself and your project. Be sure to to include relevant details about your project, such as genre of music, number of tracks, and the timeline for completion. It's important to be respectful of their time and understand that they may not be available to work on your project. Audio engineers make money in several different ways. They can charge an hourly rate for their services, or they may work on a project-by-project -project basis. Many audio engineers also work as freelancers, which allow them to take on multiple projects at once and work with a variety of clients. Some audio engineers also receive points on albums, which which means they receive a percentage of the album sales. In conclusion, the world of audio engineering is a vast and complex one with a wide range of specialties and subdisciplines. Whether you're a mixing engineer, mastering engineer,
engineer, front of house, acquisition, or spatial mixer. The key to success in this field is a deep understanding of sound and a mastery of the technical tools and techniques required to manipulate it. With the right skills and knowledge, an audio engineer can take a raw recording and turn it into a professional and fantastic sounding final product, bringing music to life in new and exciting ways. That's it for this video. If you like this video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. We come out with new content every week, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!